it's Rachel here from Akashic Angels coming to you live from Albany, New York. The first thing I'd like to touch on, I would love to say happy birthday to our wonderful and amazing executive producer, Connie. She is fantastic and fabulous, and I love working with her. I also love working with our producer, Dave. So I kind of want to talk about, um, last week I was challenged to talk about La Vida Loca, and I didn't really talk a lot about it, but after experiencing today, I realized that we're a little funky right now, and I feel like I, um, usually I have stuff prepared and whatnot, but you know, it's amazing when um, we're in this kind of day and age and a lot of, there's a lot of wildness right now and there's a lot of discordant energies and there's a lot of people living in La Loca, you know? And it's been kind of tough to have to deal with that. I'm somebody who works in the customer service industry. I'm a spiritual healer, but I'm also a human and I have a human experience. So, and just like other people that we come in contact with, they may be having a tough day or they may be, you know, going through a difficult moment. But I just want to say that for all of us, it doesn't give us permission and the ability to go and attack others and to just kind of like, eh, eh. and I will say for the people that are probably listening to this call, you're probably really empathic which means that you pick up on those emotions, you pick up on those feelings, and you may even find yourself shifting into acting like that person that you're in front of. So it's like, how do you deal with that? Like, that's that's really tough. And it may be in a situation where you honestly cannot walk away from it, you know? So for me, I would like to recommend to you, and I know I've talked about this before, is make sure you ground yourself. Make sure you protect yourself with divine energy. Make sure that if you can get away from that situation. I mean, and also to those that are being difficult and I'm just as guilty. I know that there's times that I have been loco and not acting as nice as I can be or should be maybe because something inside of me got triggered. So what do I need to do? I kind of need to take a deep breath and I need to reset and be like, okay, this is not me that's going on here. I need to re kind of figure what I'm doing and move forward perhaps lower my voice, talk nicer, you know, cause sometimes I've lived in a lot of different States and I lived in a different country. So I have a tone. I've been told, <laughs> I always blame it on my accent, but you know, you know, when you're shifting into that tone or something like that. And it, and I really kind of feel like, and granted right now, I, I do want to again, give prayers to the people of Ukraine and also I want to give, um, don't forget that the people of Russia who do not agree with what's going on, or maybe do not know what's going on, or maybe they're Russians that live in, you know, the United States where I am and whatnot. It, they're not the ones that are choosing to go into this battle and whatnot. And remember, they're just people. We're all just people. So thoughts and prayers definitely again with them, but also we want to make sure that we're not losing the kindness of our essence and of our soul. And I do seem like right now, I mean, coming through COVID, I mean, if we all do not have PTSD, I don't know. I mean, so what's happening? Mass mandates, everything that's going on, our freedoms being restricted, you know, that makes people get a little crazy inside and it's justified, but does it mean I can take it out on you? No, it doesn't. I need to still remain empathetic, kind, nice to people, understand where they're coming from, because they're having a difficult situation, but so am I. Because like I said, we're all humans. We're having, I'm a spiritual being, having a human experience. And I do feel like if we reset back to kindness and respect, you know, kind of reset back to respect, empathetic listening, talking to each other in a kind voice, shifting out of this instant gratification, entitlement attitude, and shift into an attitude of gratitude, I do feel like the, the population as a whole will kind of break up that negative dense vibration and raise it up higher. Because ultimately where we want to go is love or above. And that's how we kind of break through and get that spiritual guidance and get that, that loving, beautiful feeling that we all want to kind of feel into. And I want to say like, if you're somebody that's, you know, experiencing somebody in customer service, like, be empathetic, be kind. Like sometimes people are just doing their day and maybe they got into 
an argument or a fight before they got in. Like we all don't know what somebody's going through prior to them coming into this experience. And I think as we just need to take a step back, take a deep breath, and listen, you know, I I think um, somebody told me, because I know I can be talkative, you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth so you can listen better, you know, and shift into actual listening to someone with intention. So two superpowers that are really kind of not looked upon are attention and intention. So setting the intention of your day or how you're interacting with someone is a very powerful thing. So if I'm setting a very powerful intention that, you know, I'm setting the intention that today I'm going to be, I'm going to have an attitude of gratitude. I'm going to appreciate the people that I'm with today. I'm going to treat everybody that I come across with, you know, respect, dignity, you know, and that, then I'm automatically like my being is going to rise above and I'm going to be more empathetic, caring, involved when I'm having those moments with people. I also want to say, because I'm an energy healer, you know, energy follows intention. So by setting the intention, the energy is going to follow it. So really want to say that again, the energy is going to follow that intention. Now, attention means that you're paying attention to something and being in that present moment. When we're always like on our cell phone or we're not paying attention to something. Oh, yeah, yeah I got it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like the person that you're interacting with, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. Let's say you're somebody who's looking for love and you're going out on a date or something like that. And you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. like that person's not going to move forward with you. You got it. Okay. So attention and being in that present moment and truly being present for the person that you're with and being vulnerable and open and caring and empathetic like you're going to have a dynamic relationship and moment with that person because one they're going to be like wow they really care and they're listening to me i think a lot of um what do they say 98 percent of all arguments come down to um people not being appreciated Well, if you're not listening and if you're not paying attention and if you're automatically going on the offense and you're being not pleasant, (laughs) for lack of better words, you know, you're you're not going to have a good experience. And then that negativity is also going to impact you. It's going to impact your cellular tissue. It's going to also impact your other energetic layers. So then if I come around you, I'm going to feel that dense energy and people are going to be like, oh, wow, that, that girl's she's just not very friendly, you know, you know, and then, and then it's like, what happened? So what do you need to do is you got to shift that energy off of you. You got to break it up. You got to, you got to change your intention. You got to change your mindset. So I do want to go back to saying like, let's shift back to kindness. Let's shift back to being nice. Let's you know, we're, we're looking for spiritual guidance. And I can tell you right now that, you know, as a humanity, as a whole, we need to kind of take off some of this armor and shift back to just being real and being intentional with the people that we're with and actually paying attention to them and actively listening. I think being an active listener is also a superpower that a lot of people may have checked out on because, you know, we, we get sidetracked with our cell phones. We get sidetracked with, you know, um, we're driving or I, I got to work on my computer or something like that. And we're not giving the person that we're with that divine attention that they deserve. We're all divine beings. We're all worthy of love and respect. And, you know, it, it's just, it's a shame that right now we're kind of in this heightened sense of, irritation, frustration. And I think as, as a whole, if we kind of come together as spiritual beings and say, you know what, I'm going to choose to make my attention and my intention that I'm going to be a positive, empathic, caring person to the other person I'm with, we're going to start breaking up some of this heavy vibration. And to take that further, when we're constantly in that energy, dis-ease happens. So you become more fatigued, you become more tired, you get a cold, you start, your body starts to kind of, you know, I'm good. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't want to do anything. You kind of get in the routine of 
doing nothing, which isn't fun. We want to, we want to have fun. This life is about fully experiencing all of our senses. So remember the angelic beings, let's talk about angels. I work with angels the most. So angelic beings, they do not have senses. So for us, we have the ability to sense so we can smell the beautiful flowers. We can smell the beautiful Christmas tree. I love Christmas trees. You know, the candles, essential oils. We can feel the wonderful, beautiful textures of things. We can taste chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Well, if you don't like chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> Chocolate's the best. Um, but you know, like having a delicious steak. I like meat. I should be a vegetarian, I know. But there's something I just can't break yet. I'll get there. But, you know, even coffee. Coffee is also really grounding for me because I work so much with the, the angelic realm that I drink coffee. And it's helpful. It grounds me. But think about just those senses. Being in love. Having a laughing. Telling a beautiful joke. Being around your family and your friends. Like, my, my, I don't know why this joke is popping in my head. And it's not the best joke, but I'm going to tell you. It's my, it's my niece's joke, and I'm part. I'm sorry, I love her very much, and she's five years old. So she's like, why did the cookie go to the doctor? Because he was feeling crumbly. So see, that's fun. It's lighthearted, and it, I automatically start laughing, and, I, and it breaks up that vibration, and it have fun. Let's say you want to listen to music. Music is very therapeutic and very healing. You want to dance, get to that La Vida Loca, tap into Ricky Martin. Maybe there's somebody else that you want to listen to that pumps up that vibration and makes you like, super jazzed and super happy like that's where we kind of need to start shifting to so let's see here what else like i said i wasn't as prepared as i should have been because i was really like i had a like a you know when you just constantly get attacked <laughs> and then it's like well was it me and then part of it doesn't i do need to take responsibility for the part that i played in it because as a healer and as a spiritual person i definitely want to Make sure that when you're in my very vibration and you're in my energy, that you're definitely tapping into that. So, and I want you to feel happy and loved and appreciated. So with that being said, I hope everybody has a great evening and a great night. And let's just shift back to kindness and everyone have a great day and take care.